Hey guys, thanks for joining me in this tutorial to make your bubble app look less like a five-year-old made it. This is Design Tips, and today we're going to be building a checkbox. Because, mostly because this is the Ionic one, and it's kind of weird and it shows up kind of weird sometimes. It doesn't, depending on the browser, it gets cut off here. Um, so that's no good. Let's get rid of that. And then there's the traditional bubble checkbox right here which you can see looks like hot garbage so we're going to build one because it's better that way let's go ahead and build a group let's make it 26 by 26 yeah just like that inside this group uh we're going to set up a few conditionals background color will be whatever you want um but let's go to conditional and say when this group is hovered we're going to change the background color and we're going to be doing stuff in yellows it doesn't really matter, but you're gonna pick two colors. You're gonna pick this color. Whoops. You're gonna pick a color that's uh, dark and a color that's a bit lighter. So this one will be our lighter color. When it's hovered, we're gonna show that. And then when this group, and we're gonna set up a state called checked, and we're gonna say it's a yes, no, create. Uh, when this group's checked is yes, background color. Again, we're going to pick the darker version of that. So let's go to transitions as well and background style with a 200 second ease. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and grab uh, an HTML element and let's throw that in there. Let's make sure it's in there. Uh, this one will make 22 by 22 because got to be 22. Center horizontally, center vertically. And let's eliminate this. And let's go when conditional, whatever the group's name is gonna be called group A is hovered or when group A is checked is yes then we're going to say HTML and we're gonna paste in this HTML right here just an SVG of a little checkbox it's in a description just paste that right in there let's put a group on top of it as well make sure that it's hosted inside this one's group B let's go appearance no background start edit workflow when I click on this, I want to set state, element actions, set state of group A's checked to be no beauty. Then I want a conditional that says when group A's checked is uh, no, then this element is not visible. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and select group A now. And let's go appearance, let's go start edit workflow, and let's go element actions, set state, group A's, checked, be yes. Hopefully this works. I don't know. Let's find out. Where is it? Oh, it's on a white background. Hard to say, hard to say. I don't know why I put it on a white background. Kind of silly. Go ahead and do this or something. I don't know. Oh, no, we wanted to give it a border color. Yeah. Uh, border style, solid. And this color. Give it a roundness of 5. If you want it round, give it a roundness of 100. You know, figure it out, whatever you want. Let's give it a border roundness of 5. Preview that. There it is. There it is highlighted. And it would seem I'm hovering over the wrong group here. Uh, let's go group B, visible on page load. No. And conditional when's checked is no. Hmm. Is yes. Did I do this wrong? I don't remember which the way that I'd set it up. Set it to be no. Yeah, so it's got to be there when it's yes. Sorry. My mistake. Here it is. Here it is checked. Here it is unchecked. Obviously, you're going to want to pick better colors. I just did it by hand, so it's not that good. But there you go. Now you have a checkbox. I actually think it's sitting crooked. Go ahead and grab HTML A. Let's make sure this is centered horizontally and vertically, which I forgot to do. Now it should be good. There you go. Now we have a checkbox that makes sense. Let's see if it fits in at 100. I haven't tried it yet. I mean, at 100 border roundness. Preview. Nailed it. Yeah, so that's a much better looking checkbox. And if your background is of a different color, the reason I used an SVG with HTML is that I could change that really quickly. Let's say that my background, hello, style, the flat color that is like dark. 
Yeah, night time. Let's grab group A. So let's say my background color is going to be the same. I'm going to set it up to be the same. And let's go conditional. Uh, not conditional, sorry. Let's go to our HTML element. Let's actually grab this value though. Oh, it's 333. Three, three. Yeah. Then you go into your HTML and in your conditional, you can just change it right here, the fill color of your check mark so that it's not white. Uh, you change it to whatever your background color is. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be good enough. Yeah, there it is. All right, so that's how you make a check mark that looks better than anything that's available on Bubble. So that's really cute, you might say, but um, how do I how do I use it? So the limitation is elements and inputs values changed. You used to be able to do that. Uh, you can no longer do that. But since you already have two workflow things, you know exactly when it's going to change. And usually you only apply one thing to each checkbox. So you could just put it in here instead um, whenever you click on it, right? So group B will be like to uncheck and group A will be to check. And then you would base your resting conditionals on um, the state itself. So like double click here, remove style. Let's make it bold and let's not even make it bold too much work conditional when group a so we can, that's basically our checkbox it's checked is yes here's my resting conditional all right so let's make sure that works it should work here it is there you go so that's how you use the checkbox and it works just like any other checkbox just it looks better and you can style it to whatever it is that you need it styled too all right thanks for joining me for this design tips tutorial and we'll catch you on the flip side